Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. This is another in the Pass Gas with Doug series. Pass Gas is pen acquisition syndrome and gear acquisition syndrome where we fountain pen enthusiasts quench our pen acquisition thirst by living vicariously on the internet. That's what pen videos are all about, right? This is episode 5 of Pass Gas and the topic is New Models for Pen BBS. Discuss. Talk amongst yourselves! A pen friend prompted me to do a video examination, or at least speculation, on what new models Pen BBS has in store for us. So, let's speculate on what new pen candy Long and Biney have in store for us, right now. <laughs> So you'd think that Pen BBS would be done with new models for a while. Since December, we've seen a flurry of new models from Long and his crew that have kept us bashing away at our refresh buttons on Etsy, draining our bank accounts when the new pens show up, and then have us checking tracking every five minutes and staring into empty mailboxes for weeks on end. We've seen the new model 491 with its terrific new colors and enormous ink capacity when eyedroppered. Here's my 491 in Corderite, and of course the anxiously awaited new spring piston filling system of the Pen BBS 500, which was delayed until well past Christmas and into New Year's. Here are my two Pen BBS 500s in Galaxy and in Amber. But that was not all. Just when we were licking our pocketbook wounds, from overspending at Christmas and then again after New Year's, Pen BBS came out with this, the Year of the Rat, the Pen BBS 492. A completely new, I know it's from an old patent, magnetic filling system on a completely newly designed pen from nib to the hardware. Here's my 492. This model hit Taobao first with what looks like a limited edition of 500 units each with its own, can't remember what my number is, with its own serial number, this one's number 82, marked there on rat's butt, not rath bun, rat butt. Later, the model appeared on Etsy with Biney taking pre-orders and customers willing to wait until perhaps July to receive theirs. With the slowdown in shipping and deliveries because of the pandemic, I thought we'd see a slowdown in new items from Pen BBS and others like Moon Man. But we've seen three new pens from Moon Man since the new year. The Moon Man T1 Piston Filler, which I have right here. Lovely pen. And of course, the Moon Man M800 Leonardo clone. This is my M800 in Galaxy, my M800 in Amber, and of course the new Moonman T2 piston filler, which I'm still waiting for. Uh, this is taking a roundabout route to me because it left China back in March, and then it left China again in April. Perhaps it'll make its way to Canada soon. And now we have new Instagram rumblings and rumor mongering by Biney about more new finishes and more new models. Let's examine what our Pen BBS Pen Tees in Chief has been up to, shall we? On March 29th, Biney posted this image on her MacBook, complete with funky pink keyboard and a screen image indicating a new Pen BBS model 487. Of course, your humble pen detective. In older days, detectives were called dicks, but I hesitate to call myself a pen dick. Let's give him the gunsel. It's made to order for the pod. Look at him. <laughs> Six, two, and even. They're selling you out, Sonny. Well, but I digress. Your humble pen detective grabbed a screenshot and examined it under my Photoshop microscope for information. What it revealed, to me at least, was a new model 487 filling instruction booklet that Viney nicely blurred out. So a new model and a needed new filling instruction card. We've seen new models with instruction cards before, with the 355, 
the 456, and the 500. Curiously, the 492 never had an instruction card, and it really does need one. So, is this 487 a new filling system? But examining Biney's screen in a little more detail, we see she has a Word document open with the title 355. My speculation at the time was that they were adapting the 355 documentation into the new model 487 because they were revamping or remodeling, replacing the 355. Let's examine the 355 for a moment. It, the model is a little over one year old, I think. Since it was released, users have had numbers of issues with it. The most common issues I found discussed were these. Number one, the cap doesn't have enough clearance between the end of the cap and the tip of the nib to allow for nib swapping. Also, the pen doesn't post nearly deep enough to make the pen at all usable posted. But also, when first used, and you open the pen up, and you withdraw that rod, and you turn the threads in to capture that piston, and then you try to push, that piston gets stuck on a lot of people's pens when you push it forward. Once you've pushed it forward a few times, it tends to be okay. But uh, people were complaining that the first time they use it, that piston gets stuck in this backwards position. But also, and probably this is the main reason, the way that thread works, this piston rod goes back into the piston and then you turn it the opposite way, which engages those threads into the piston. Now, if you crank that down so those threads really engage with that piston, it gets stuck. And then when you, you finished moving the piston, and so you filled your pen, and then you pull it back to engage that piston back into its locking mechanism again, and then you try to turn the thread back out again, that, pest, that piston just keeps rotating, and you have to disassemble the pen to get it unstuck. Also, once you're full of ink, and you turn that, you can see how you pull it back and disengage that rod, and now this is full of ink. If I return that rod, the instruction booklet tells you to turn the pen up, which is smart, and return the rod back to its closed position. But if you pull the pen out of the ink and leave it down and push that rod in, it displaces ink down through the nib. See a couple of drops there drop out. And of course you close it down and then it seals off that ink chamber. So these were some of the issues that people were having with this model. And about six months ago, I think it, it really kind of disappeared off of the Etsy site. And you could still get them on eBay and so forth, but uh, PenBBS official site Etsy was not selling them. I did a video review of the 355, which outlines many of the issues. And you can see that video in this e-card right here. My thinking was that they were going to fix these issues with the 355 and call it the 487. But Biney chimed in on Taste the Rainbow, the Facebook PenBBS fan group, when she said this. In one sentence, Biney confirmed that there was, in fact, a redesign of the 355 syringe filler coming out soon, and that it would keep its own model number 355, meaning there would be two new pens coming soon, the redesigned 355 and a new model 487. Biney also let it slip that the 355 redesign will involve magnets. Curiouser and curiouser, ink-quiring minds want to know. So, the magnets introduced into the 492 might show up on the new 355. Since the piston rod getting stuck in the piston and then the rod displacing ink when it is reinserted was such an issue for many 355 users, perhaps they're removing the rod altogether and making the piston magnetic, a la the 492. Or perhaps, instead of using the threads on that piston rod, the end of the rod 
will have a magnet. And then the end of this piston right here will have another magnet. I think I'm going to draw a diagram to illustrate my idea here. So here is my idea. So here is our barrel. of the 355. There is a rubber gasket that's normal and a rod and here is the blind cap. Instead of screw threads right here they attach a north-south magnet right there. And then here is the piston. Just like that. And on this end, they attach another magnet, north-south. Just like that. You unscrew the rod and pull the rod out, which engages this magnet with the underside of this magnet. And let's do a little magnet magnetism 101 here with my cap of my 492. There's a magnet. Here's another magnet. You can see what happens when a north and a south pole come together. They really attract each other. But what happens when a north-north magnet? I can't hardly push that magnet it down and it just flips around because there's so much force repelling the north north poles apart that I can't even get them to touch that magnet is so strong so what happens with an operation like this this is my speculation we have a north south pole magnet here a north south pole magnet here this magnet is fixed. This one's, of course, on a rod that spins. When you engage this, the magnets come together north-south. So the south-south side, because it's in that orientation, will make it stick. And then you push the whole piston that way, and you can syringe up the ink. So instead of engaging a thread, the magnet sticks onto that, you can do all you need to do with your piston. And then when you get back to this point here, you pull it back, it engages into a little snap mechanism. And instead of turning a thread, you're turning, you're turning the north-south into north-north. So you end up with a, a north pole on there and a north pole on there and they repel each other and push the rod off of the piston which can then be retracted back into the pen which seals right there so you end up with that seal which gives you that uh, ink shut off valve that people value in this pen and in the 456 so that's my little speculation on how that might work. And perhaps we'll see a slimmer 355 with a barrel that tapers more like the 492, which will allow this cap to post a little bit deeper like the 456 does. I did a survey on Taste the Rainbow, which asked people what their favorite models were. And this model right here, the 456 vacuum filler, uh, was the runaway number one favorite. And you can see why. It has a great ink capacity. The filling system works really nicely. It has a good heft to it. And that cap fits securely and doesn't really throw off the balance of the pen. It's still forward balanced. And it was one of the drawbacks, in my mind, of the 355 was this back-weighted, long, long capping. 
So perhaps the new 355 will have a more tapered barrel. The 492 doesn't post any better. It's got all this magnetic weight back in here. And so it's, in my consideration, not a postable pen either. But that barrel does taper a lot more on the 492 than it does on the 355. And what about the new model 487? What will this be like? Well, again, Biney has left us some clues. Let's look at some extreme close-ups of her screen. Under the heading 487 on the filling instruction chart, we see the diagram of a fountain pen. Let's look at the details. The cap on this pen outline looks identical to the 492's cap. There are currently no pen BBS models that have this shape cap. And this looks like the sword clip right here. You could almost superimpose the outline of the entire 492 onto this image of the 487. And I don't see a converter. The filling instructions mean this isn't something conventional like an eyedropper or a converter pen. And these two blocks back here look suspiciously like a magnetic piston and the end plug of the 492. What would the difference be then? Well, the 492 has all these matte rose gold hardware features and the numbered end plug. This makes this a very unique pen, a limited edition. Perhaps what we're seeing here is the 487 as a production model magnetic piston filler that will have many of the pen BBS myriad of cool finishes. Who else would like to see a magnetic piston filler in amber or galaxy or Niangao? And speaking of finishes, you'd think Biney was finished with her teasing of new pen BBS stuff, but you'd be wrong, because on April 17th on Instagram, Biney posted this. These are two pen BBS 323 models in a completely new finish, some sort of swirling emerald. I hope my pension check arrives before these things go live on Etsy. This is one Pen BBS fan that will be checking Etsy five and six times a day now for the next number of weeks. Well, what else is there to do, eh? I'm halfway through re-binge watching Downton Abbey at this point. What do you think I might have a drink? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were a waiter. After all the speculation, there is one thing we can be sure of, and that is... Whenever we snap up these Pen BBS gems, we will have a long, long wait by the mailbox. And I don't mean that as a pun on Mr. Long. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get an instant notification of new videos. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you. For watching. And that's all she wrote.